Amen. 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 Hallelujah. This snow and stuff has been a mess. Amen. But God is in control of that too. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We growl and complain. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but it's Amen. all his in his plan. He knows what we need needed. Amen. 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 We don't know what we need. Amen. Come on. But he does. Amen. But I would gladly say unto me, let us go into the house of the Come Lord. On. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Was he? Or was yes. you saying, or was you saying, oh, it's just another church tonight. Come on. I gotta go. <coughs> Amen. I ought to mind your mama. Your mama said she come to help church. Amen. Come on. So she didn't get take time to get ready and all this stuff to get out in the cold just to come to sit. She come to help church. Amen. Come, on. come to praise the yeah. Lord. Honey, that's what Amen. it's all about. That's what we're here for, to lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Because it like Brother Bill has been talking about all night. Come on. Look what he did for us. Amen. Amen. Oh, if we really realize what he done for us. Come on. Sometimes, church, I don't believe we realize what he done for us. Amen. Amen. We see these little pictures of him on the wall with a few drops of blood on them. It wasn't nothing like Come that. On. They beat him plumb wreck of where they couldn't even recognize him. He didn't even look like a man. He just looked like a piece of meat hanging there. He done it all for you and I. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And the world's got it all messed up. The church world's got it all messed up. Come on. Amen. They want Jesus to follow them yeah. instead of following Jesus. Come on. Amen. We need, we need to get back to the right path and start yeah. following Jesus. Come Amen. On. Amen. He's, he, he's the leader. Come Amen. On. Everybody wants to everybody wants to be the leader, Brother Bill. Yeah. Everybody wants Jesus to follow him, but we're gonna have to follow Jesus. Come on. If we're gonna make it, church, we gotta follow him. Because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Honey, there ain't but one way to make it, and that's following Jesus. Amen. Yes. If we try to make it some other way, we ain't gonna make it. Come on. Amen. No way. So many people in this world today that and, and I've seen so many preachers doing it, Brother Billy, they're getting all these books Come and on. all this other stuff and trying to figure everything out. Come on. Amen. We don't have to figure it all out, sir. I mean, all we got to do is follow Him. Amen. I mean, we don't have to. We don't have to know everything. Amen. I you ain't going to never know everything. I mean, Amen. I don't care how smart you are. You ain't never going to know everything. Come on. You're not going to know it all. Amen. 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 And most of them just and they, and they get these new Bibles. Come on. I can understand it better. Yeah. You can't understand it better. When God gets ready for you to understand it, you're going to understand it. He'll reveal it to you. Amen. Stick with your old fashioned King James Bible. Amen. I believe it's the closest thing we got. Amen. Amen. And, and if we stick with it, and if God, when God gets ready to reveal it to us, honey, He'll reveal it to us. Come on. Amen. But the world, want to, they want to figure it all out. Yeah. And that's the way most of the sinners are. Yeah. Brother Billy, they want, they, they'll say, well, I'll come to church when I get my life in order. Yeah. When I can get this out of my life, I'll come to you. You'll never go to church like that. Come on. Amen. You have to come in just as you are. And just follow Him. Yes. Just follow Him. Amen. Because He knows the way. Amen. Yeah. He is the way. Yeah. And He is the only way. If we're going to make it, church, we're going to follow Jesus. Amen. And we ain't going to make it. Amen. Amen. I mean, if you got your Bible, turn with me to... Let me find where I got my scripture wrote down. To Luke. The fifth chapter of Luke. Praise the Lord. I tell you, it ain't good enough for me to go on Sunday morning, Brother Bill. Come on. I, I, our church has been shut down because of this weather and stuff, and, and we, we've been having it on Sunday mornings, and, and every now and then we've been having it at a, at a, a, a brother of ours house on Wednesdays, and it just ain't working for me. Come on. Amen. This weather's going to have to break, and we're going to have to somehow pour gas or something so we can have church. Amen. Yeah. It, just ain't, it just ain't enough for me. Amen. I, I need to be more in God's house, amen. Come on. Spend more time with Him. But if you got your Bibles in Luke, the fifth chapter, and the first verse said, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon Him to hear the word of God, He stood by the lake of Gallatin, and He saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And He entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and talked to people out of the ship. And when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Let out into the deep, and let down your net for a drag. 
And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have took nothing, never to live. Now I'm going to stop right there for a minute. Now here was Jesus, Brother Billy, trying to teach his people. Yeah. Amen. And they was following Jesus. Amen. All this crowd was following Jesus. But they, a lot of them couldn't hear what Jesus was saying, and Jesus knew it. So he got on his ship, and he told them to cast out where he could teach them off so they could hear what he was saying. Amen. Yeah. And, and, and Simon had, and them been out there fishing all night. So they was wore out. But Brother Billy, I noticed something they didn't do. They didn't make no excuse. <clears throat> Amen. When he said, when he said to cast them, when he got up on the ship and told them to cast their ship out a little bit before he could teach them, they yeah. done what he said. Yeah. Amen. But these, these boys wasn't just ordinary fishermen. This is what they done for a living. Amen. Come on. They knew how to fish. Amen. They probably fished this lake for 30 years, brother Bill. Come on. They knew where all the hot spots was. Amen. Come on. They knew where the fish was going to be at. Amen. And all the stuff. But they would they'd been out there all night and never caught nothing. Come on. Yeah. Amen. And look what, what look what's going to happen here. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toward all the night and have taken nothing. <coughs> Nevertheless, at thy word, come on. I will let down the net. Nevertheless, because you you told me to, amen. Yeah. Nevertheless, because you spoke, I not. I know you're the master. I know you're Jesus. I know you know all about healing. But I'm a fisherman, brother Bill. I know about fishing. Amen. I know where the hot spots are. Come and on. I've been down there all night and I had caught nothing. But yeah. nevertheless, oh, nevertheless, at your word, at your word, I'm going to go back out. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to catch a little bit further back oh. out in the deep. Amen. I'm going to try it one more time. Even though I'm tired, I'm going to go one more time. Because you're telling me to go. Amen. We got to follow you, church. When you tell us to go, we got to go. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Don't matter if you have been out there all night and it ain't worked. Come on. I mean, we still got to go. Ooh. We got to follow him. Amen. Ooh. That's what's wrong with the Hallelujah. church world. Amen. You, if you read on down, you'll find out he made them fishermen to men. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. And that's what we are. Come on. That's what we're supposed to be. Come on. Amen. Oh, we'll take him if he'll jump on the boat. Come on now. But what about witnessing a little bit? Amen. What about going outside of the boat? Amen. Come on. Getting out in the stores and on your workplace oh, yeah. and telling somebody about Jesus. Amen. Oh, well, we don't want to go through all that trouble. Amen. But honey, if we'll work, if we'll work, do what Jesus told us to do, if we'll follow His word, it'll work. Come on. Amen. But we got to follow Him. Amen. Amen. It won't work no other way. But if we'll follow Him, you read on down and you find out that they call all kinds of fish, brother Bill. Come on. Amen. And the nets was even breaking, and they had to get people to come out in another ship to get the rest of them, Sister Reese. Yeah. Amen. But I'm going to jump on down to the 11th verse. And when they brought the ship back to the land, and they brought them back full, amen, they forsook all and followed him. Honey, sometimes, Brother Billy, we're going to have to forsake some stuff to follow him, amen. Oh, we're going to yeah. have to get rid of some stuff out of our life. Oh. Amen. We're going to have to get rid of some, some of these little things that's, that's holding us back a little bit, oh. amen. And for it's sake of all these things that follow Jesus. Yeah. And if we don't forsake oh. them, we ain't going to follow them. We ain't oh. going to make it. We don't have to understand it. I'm sure oh. these fishermen didn't understand that, Brother Bill. They knew where the fish was, and they'd been out there fishing all night, and they ain't caught nothing, and all of a sudden they're catching everything. Come on. They probably didn't understand that. But they were fishermen. They knew where the hot spot was. Amen. But nevertheless, when they took him at his word and followed oh. him, it worked. We don't have to understand it all. Oh. We don't have to have it all worked out in our minds, Sister Reese. All we got to do is follow him. Like you were talking oh. about when you testified. All we got to do is put our trust in him. Oh. Amen. And put our trust in him and just keep following him. Yes. Amen. If you notice over in the, in the oh my goodness, oh. over in the sixth chapter of Genesis. Oh. There was a man named Noah. Yeah. And God called to come to him and told him that he was going to destroy the earth. Sister Reese. And he told him he wanted him to build a boat. Don't want you to build an ark. Come on. Amen. <clears throat> you know all the people around him, Brother Billy, made fun of him. Yeah. Amen. He worked on this thing for 120 years. Preached for 120 years, people making fun of him. Amen. And uh, no doubt they come up to him. Brother, I got to think about this the other day. Yeah. No doubt they come up to him. They no, what are you doing? Come on. No, I said, I'm building an ark. Yeah. They said, what's the ark? Yeah. No, I said, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Amen, he ain't never seen one either. Come on. Amen. 
What are you building for? It's going to rain. Oh, yeah. What's the rain? I don't know. Come on. Amen. Never seen that before. Come on. All I know is what God told me to do. Amen. Oh, I'm going to follow oh, yeah. Him. Amen. No matter, no matter if I understand it or don't understand it. Amen. I'm going to follow Him. Amen. Whatever God wants me to do, because He followed Him, Brother Bill. Come on. Him and His family were saved. Yeah. Amen. We got to follow Jesus. Come church. on. If we follow anything else, we ain't going to make it. Come on. But if we'll put our trust in Him. Come on. And obey Him, Sister Richie. Whoa. See, when He told him to build it, He told him how to build it. Hey Amen. He told me how to cast it in, cast it out, what to build it out of. Come on. Amen. And the, the length of it, the, the height of it, the whole yeah. nine yards. He told me how to build it. Come on. Honey, when he tried to build us, he told us how. Come on. Hey Amen. He's got. He, here's our blueprint, church. Hey Amen. We need to get a hold of this blueprint and follow in. If we follow yeah. this word, honey, we won't miss it. Hey Amen. But on. if we get off track and, and get in these other Bibles and this other junk and get to following in and following some kind of man that thinks they know it all, hey Amen. Don't let us know it all. Come on. We got to follow Him. Yeah. Amen. In the beginning was the Word. Come on. The Word was God. The Word was with God. Well, I was just, I don't know how to just it. I might have misquoted it. But it's something like that. Amen. In other words, we got to follow the Word. Yeah. Amen. We got to follow His Word. We got to follow Him. If we'll follow Him and put our trust in Him, Sister Reason, we can't go wrong. Yeah. Amen. We'll make it. People may laugh at you like they didn't know. It. Amen. Look at that crazy old man out there building something. We don't even know what it is. Yes, he don't Amen. <laughs> Never heard of it. He's building something. He don't even know what he's building. Yeah, come on. And the reason he's building, he's supposed to do something he ain't never seen done before. Whoa, come on. <laughs> Honey, I ain't seen Jesus step out on a cloud of glory, but I'm fixing to, amen. I'm getting ready to, amen. I want to be ready because I want to follow him, brother Billy. Come on. As long as we follow him one of these days, when he steps out, we're going to see him. Come on. Amen. But we got to follow Jesus. Come on. If we ain't following him, you're in trouble. Amen. Amen. If you follow after man, if you follow after all your entertainment you got, Come you're on. in trouble. Amen. Amen. If you follow after because you got a great big crowd, you're in trouble. Come on. Ain't nothing wrong with having a good crowd. Come on. I love to have a big crowd. Yeah. But I want a big crowd that follow Jesus. Come Amen. On. I don't want a big crowd that ain't following him. Come on. Because you're gonna get in trouble. Yeah. But if you follow Jesus, everything's gonna be alright. Amen. But we gotta follow Jesus, Amen. Because He is the way. Come on. He's the truth. Amen. And he amen. is the life. Amen. amen. No other way. Now we're in Matthew 24. Praise the Lord. Matthew 24, 35. Said heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But as the day of and the hour know of no man, no not the angels in heaven, but my Father only. But as the day of Noah were, yeah. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as it is in that day that were before the flood that they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And do not until the flood came and took them all away, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. And that's the way it's going to be, brother. Bill. Come on. Amen. One of these days, the ones that follow what God told them to do, one that's following Jesus, amen, what He's told them to do, yeah. amen, is going to get on board. And all these other ones are just, just having a good time and, and kicking up their heels and got their entertainment, hey amen. And got all this going on, got their new Bible, got all that going on. They're going to see us when we're leaving here, hey amen. They're going to be left behind just like it was in the day of Noah, hey amen. It's going it's, it's to be a sad day for them, but Lord, it's going to be a glorious day for us. Hey amen. If we're ready, if we're, if we're following Jesus, what a day it's going to be, hey amen. The Bible said, He that do it to the end, the same shall be seen. Amen. We gotta follow you all the way to the end. Amen. It's not good enough, brother Billy, just to have a good start. Come on. I can tell you a lot of preachers out here today that took off good. Yeah. <coughs> that had a good start. But then the devil slipped in somewhere. Come on. Amen. They got their mind all caught up in the worldly stuff and, and the and the money and the, and all that stuff and they, and they turned plumb away. Yeah. From the ministry. Some of them turned plumb away from Jesus. Yeah. Don't even claim to be Jesus anymore. Come on. Amen. 
I'm talking about people that know the Bible better than I know it. Amen. amen. Don't tell me you can't get deceived, Brother Billy. Amen. I've seen I've seen preachers, amen. I've got a good friend that was a preacher that that that, that, that know that Bible from front to back. He could quote the biggest part of it, amen. Yeah. But he's turned his back on Jesus, amen. You can get deceived. If you let the devil slip in your mind, honey, oh. you better keep your eyes on Jesus. Oh. You better keep following him. If you get your eyes off him and start following man and get start following him, you get caught up in something. Amen. amen. And we'll get left behind. I want to follow Jesus. How about y'all? Amen. amen. I don't care if it's snowing or what it's doing. I still want to follow Jesus. Come on. Amen. I follow him through the snow. Maybe I can see some tracks. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Man, I see for one set because he's going wrong. I've carried him most of it. Come on. Amen. But we're going to keep our eyes on Jesus. Yeah. And keep following him. Because that's what's all right, Brother Billy. Amen. Amen. Because we get our eyes off Jesus, we ain't going to make it. Amen. But as long as we keep following him, one of these days, when that trumpet sounds, come on, hallelujah, we're going to be ready. <clears throat> we're going to be ready. Amen. amen. What a glorious day that will be if we're ready. But what a sad day it'll be. Hallelujah. What a sad day it'll be if you took your eyes off Jesus. Come on. So as long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, yeah. he walked on the water. Come on. It's when he took his eyes off of him. He got looking, got looking around at the storm. Come on. Amen. Then when he got looking around at the storm, said Teresa, he lost his trust. Yeah. Amen. We got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Amen. Amen. The storm's going to raise. We're going to go through storms, brother Billy. Like you said, it's going to get worse and worse and oh, worse yeah. and worse. Amen. Amen. So we better hang on. Hang on. Hallelujah. Because I promise you, I promise you, this anchor will hold. Oh. If we just hang on to the anchor, amen. If we just hang on, oh, hallelujah. If we just hang on to the nail scarred hands, we're going to make it, amen. If we just keep trusting them, keep hanging on, hallelujah, we'll make it. Hallelujah, but we got to keep our eyes on the prize. Amen. Keep our eyes on Jesus, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand. That's what the Lord gave me tonight, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.